Okay, this is Attorney Vince Davis. This is The Secret, How to Fight CPS and Win. I'm on with my associate, Jennifer Ani. Hey, Jennifer, let's take some calls, um, sure. and, and I'll let you listen and answer. Let's talk to John in California. John, did you have a story to tell or a question to ask? Hello. Calling from California. Okay, we don't want to use your full name, John. Okay. Um, I have a I have a DCFS open case. We have done everything, and our kids have been the kids. Our kids were officially removed, and later we did all our classes, and they were returned back to us. In fact, uh, our case at the two is at the two ending. Uh, we're looking forward to go back to court, court on March, and then we close out the case because we've done everything. But um, before this case, I have a, a, a kind of another case at the family court. It's a paternity case which I filed to have custody of my daughter from another relationship that was sent to Africa uh, without my consent by the mom just because my name is not on the birth certificate. So I want to file paternity. Now, the family court, uh, I use, we are having what is called um, a PP, a PPA. So uh, the PPA counselor is, uh, wrote, sent an email to the family, to the DCFS uh, social worker. They, want, they are requesting for my file with the children's service uh, uh, case. So, because the the defendant is using the DCFS case that I have with my children as a defense, that I have a DCFS case, so I am not. They shouldn't give me custody of my other child. So, the family court court want to want DCFS to give them the information of that case, which I have been trying to conceal. I didn't want them to know about it. I denied that I denied about it in court. I just didn't want them to know about about the two cases. Even DCFS also, I didn't want DCFS to know that I have a paternity case at the family court because they could include that child in this case. And I didn't want the family court that I, to know that I have DCFS case because they could use the DCFS case against me. So, but somehow. They decided to investigate. The, the social worker called me yesterday that they got an email from the social from the family court to release information of my DCFS case. That she's trying to notify me about releasing it, and I told her that I think if she do that, she's uh, she's a kind of like uh, abusing my fundamental right and the right of those in, in, those children as minor. I believe. If the right of confidential is being abused here. So I don't think it is proper for them to go and release such an information. Jennifer, so, what do you think uh, about that? Sure, sure. So, I mean, uh, so this is an issue that that turns on whether or not the, the information in your dependency case or CPS case can be used in a family law case. Uh, the answer, unfortunately, is yes, it can. Be used. However, there are procedures that have to be put in place. Number one, the CPS reports can only be obtained. Uh, well, the family court has a has a right under the statute, which is Welfare and Institutions Code second, Section 827, which states family courts have a right to access that information. A parent, however, that wasn't part of the CPS matter would have to file a petition under 827 and the juvenile court would determine whether to release it because the interests of the child are paramount also in the family case. I would guess that unfortunately, the juvenile court would grant access to that information. That said, I think that you started the conversation by saying you'd finished your case plan. So because the idea behind juvenile court is to reunify the family wherever possible, and it sounds like that happens. Any information that is in the file would have to be considered in light of the fact 
that your CPS case is over and you've reunified. In other words, you could almost use the fact of reunifying as a strength instead of uh, allowing them to use it as a sword. Um, uh, based on the facts that you said, I think that that's, um, that's not a bad idea. What do you think, John? Okay. Um, if, if it's not a bad idea, I think uh, I will uh, encourage them to, to go ahead. I just don't want what would make me lose custody of my other child. But if it sounds good, I think I will go with that idea. Thank you, John. Thank, you know, Call us in a few weeks. Tell us what happened. I want to thank you for listening, and thank you for calling in. Uh, let's take another quick call from Kim in California. Kim, did you have a story to tell or a question to ask? Uh, 